Hey YouTubers, today we'll set up our ME system to auto craft items. For the first part, we'll start with one pattern grid, one crafter, one pattern, and some cables. What this is going to do is when we go to our crafting grid and when we, when we want to craft something, say when we craft a pattern, we can auto craft it without having to build it and it just builds it for us. So what we're going to do is we're going to place down our pattern grid and our crafter and then we're going to run our cable to our ME system so that it's connected to our crafting grid. Next we're going to make a pattern, one of these, and we're going to put it into our pattern grid. And we're going to bring that to our slot here. Next we want to build whatever we want built. So for example let's start with a pattern since we're going to be making a lot of them. You're going to put in the formula for a pattern and we're going to do create pattern. Grab that and then you're going to put it in your crafter. Then when you go to your crafting grid and you want to create your patterns, it will automatically grab the resources to build it. Next, if we want to use a machine, say um, we want to build, so we want to auto build our crafters. Our crafters require a lot of processors, and the processors are made with the solder. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our crafter and we're going to attach it to our solder and have that little blue part button connected to the solder. And then for our um, crafter, we're going to have to build a different type of pattern, and we're going to be using a processing pattern encoder for that. So place down your processing pattern encoder, open it up, and we need to put a pattern here. Um, let me grab a pattern. And then for this part, it doesn't automatically build it. We need the first product and the second product. So we'll put these in here, and then we put our basic processing part over there, click create pattern, grab that, and we put this one into the machine that's going to be using it. So we put this into this crafter instead of the other one. And now this crafter, I have it set to build all these different parts holding shift it. We'll show you which ones you're going to be building. So now if I want to make a basic processor. Um, if I don't have any, it'll say craft, and I click start and go. And it'll start crafting before you can see the animations. And so after that's done, we place an importer, and that's attached to the solderer. And the importer, what the importer does is it grabs items out of the solder whenever it's finished building them and it puts it into our ME system. And you can do this with all sorts of machines. I'm working on making one for a furnace and this will greatly help build any items you want to make. Thanks for watching.